Greetings, Riggs here, welcome back. And I am on the final score server and I've been really enjoying being back here. Um, the new 1.13 things uh, have been added and I've been really enjoying kind of going through and thinking about what my favorite things from 1.13 are and how I would add them. Ooh, one of my favorite things I'll use right now. The Potion of Slow Falling. This was a sleeper for me. I, I saw, oh, Slow Falling, that's interesting. But man, with the wings, look at this. I'm just kind of floating up in in the in the air. It's just it's almost like creative mode. You can just kind of float and check things out. So anyway, I digress. Bubble columns. Um, I would love to add some bubble columns here to make it easy to get up to the tree farm. Definitely. Um, and then the cracked, uh, not cracked, the waterlogged blocks. Um, which I just think is such a neat little detail to add to things, um, you know, sort of intentionally um, in floors, you can add kind of like a little water design, but then more sort of organically, I was adding it over here next to, I just love this slow fall, I can't get over it, um, next to the area next to the dam here, uh, which I think makes a lot of sense. Obviously, there'd be a little leakage, um, but just having these little half blocks of water it's not even half a block it's like half a slab of water um, is just such a neat little detail so I've been adding that and then um, the definite number one spot for the bubble columns would be my bounce house so let me take you over there real quick okay so we are back um, this is the bounce house uh, maybe not the greatest name for it Do I, I still have my slow fall there we go yeah um, uh, it's a big bunch of columns that I, when we got the slime blocks, I was really interested in the distance that you could fall and then bounce back up. Um, and I don't know what the math is exactly, but it's, it's about a third maybe. Um, so I went and <laughs> did a bunch of creative work and figured out the heights of the different levels that you would need in order to make kind of perfect bounces between these platforms. And... This actually would be a really interesting concept for a base to have maybe your main storage up there and then have a bunch of farms and, you know, potions here and enchanting there and, I don't know, your wheat farm there and your paper farm there and, I don't know, just a thought. Um, but what I do want to add, I, I have a, a gate at the bottom, one of these stargates that we have on this server to teleport you to the top, but I thought it would be neat to use regular vanilla mechanics and have some water columns. So I did some thinking already. Um, one of the interesting things about this build is that I did it as an even build. A lot of times when you're building, you try to make the distance um, in the walls uh, odd. So you have one center block, which makes it kind of some design choices a little easier. This is a even uh, build. So I would have to have a water column two wide, which I could do, but that would be double the glass. Not really a big deal. Um, actually, that's a, not a bad idea. I hadn't really thought of that. Um, I was going to do one wide here, so I had added these uh, single wide um, glass panes, which is not a bad... Uh, oh, I guess I wasn't actually even flying then. Um, not a bad solution. Uh, and then the other idea I had, which I had started... Oh, I think it just ran out. There we go. Um, oh, I have phantoms coming too. Uh, yeah, the other idea I had was to add them into the corners here, which I think is a good idea as well. Um, I did realize that um, very quickly I'm going to need a lot more um, uh, 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 glass uh, for this job. <laughs> sort of don't realize the scale. Why is so there you go. I don't realize the scale of this build until um, you... Do I have an arrow on me? I don't have a arrow. That's so silly. I do that all the time with this infinity bow. You really need that arrow. You need just one arrow, but you, you really you need that arrow. Um, I was going to play with the phantoms for more membranes. Um, but anyway, uh, that was kind of where I'm at. I just wanted to, to bring you in. Um, I'm going to go and get... I have glass, um, but I do need more light blue dye. So let me show you where I get that. This is not my light blue dye farm. Mm, nope, this is not my light blue farm either. 
Okay, we're getting warmer here. Yeah, the um, light blue dyes come from the orchids that grow only in the swamps. So I built a little flower farm just in the um, swamp biome here, and uh, it only grows these light blue flowers. So hopefully, fingers crossed, there's still some, um, oh gosh, yeah, some uh, bone meal in there. <laughs> very laggy machine but uh, I can kind of show you what it does uh, I imagine if there's anybody besides my daughters watching you may have seen something like this before Ooh, can I turn that off now there we go. Uh, and then I push that and it will dispense the water with just enough time to um, oh actually <laughs> items move much faster now in 1.13 but it's sort of timed to let everything move uh, just directly to the um, hoppers and then down here there's a little timer which um, activates the bone meal which these are filled with and when you shoot the bone meal up into the dirt it grows whatever that biome will grow so if you set this up in a regular biome you'll get a couple of different flowers if you set it up in a flower forest you'll get um, a bunch of different flowers um, for instance Actually, before we leave, I wanted to show you just a couple of things. One, this light blue house over here, which I did. I didn't even remember doing this, but obviously I had a bunch of light blue dye, and so I turned it into the light blue uh, terracotta. Um, anyway, and the other interesting thing was when I looked in this, I noticed that there were these other flowers that are not blue orchids. And I know for a fact that the only flowers that are in um, swamps are these blue orchids so it got me thinking that we probably had hiding in here a different biome and I, I just pointed to the screen but you can't see that it says biome minecraft swamp a little bit below the XYZ on the left hand side there um, and if you look over here river you see that it just changed to river swamp river swamp river so there are just a few blocks over here one two three four five six seven eight like, yeah, like maybe nine blocks over here that um, can spawn different flowers besides these little blue orchids. So um, I just thought that was eh, maybe not that interesting, but sort of a um, I did a little detective work and figured out uh, why there were not blue orchids in my um, in my chest. But yeah, as I was saying, if you do this in a flower forest, you get a lot more flowers. All right, we are back over here uh, where I was breeding my horses, and this is a big monstrosity of a build. Sort of a sprawling castle, kind of palace, village type, I don't even know what, like usual. Um, but over here, uh, you know, it was this beautiful flower forest, and so of course I completely built all over it and destroyed it. <laughs> But I made an essentially an identical version to that farm you just saw um, in the middle of this flower forest. So over here, you get a bunch of different flowers like all of these, which is kind of nice. These oxeye daisies are nice and um, some of the different tulips. I, I, I think uh, yeah, you get some orange ones and don't get the uh, allium in this farm, which was uh, maybe a oversight. They have... Um, constant uh like the the flowers that spawn in a spot will be the same flower every time um, which is kind of an interesting detail but yeah i have uh i'll show you this build while we're over here a couple of townhouses going on i was trying to have sort of similar themes but use different materials i don't know and then this is kind of the lower class <laughs> uh working class dwellings over here a little bit more apartment sized and I have villagers in, in here. Hi, guys. I'm uh, just hanging out. Um, not two guys. And, yeah, there's, like, little apartments in each of these. So you can go over here. There's a little little spot. And this is, you know, a little bit more realistic uh, housing in a, in a castle, probably. You know, everything kind of built on top of each other. People not having much space to themselves. Sorry, guys. And uh, let's see. I think over here. Yeah, interesting little... Um, detail was when I was building oop I discovered that I was right on top of the end um, stronghold so down in here somewhere is an end uh, you know the the gate to the end but uh, that's kind of a cool thing so um, maybe back to the bounce house for now okay back at the house of bounce or the 
the slime palace or the the towers of tumbling or the the I don't know any ideas um, but I was sort of inspired to continue this pattern uh, I have a lot more slime to fill up um, this lime green slime is not my favorite uh, for a, a floor although I do like the bounciness obviously so I just thought I'd cover it up and um, I like this kind of checkerboard kind of looks like it's woven almost um, but yeah I wanted to um, let's see here um, I'm going to continue adding the some of these towers. I think I might try to do the center block as a water column. I, I kind of like the, that idea of doing the double. Um, that way I won't have to do it on all, all four columns. I was kind of trying to figure out a way of making these towers still symmetrical um, without having to do four water towers and maybe just doing one double wide uh, in the center of each one would be a good idea. Maybe I'll, um, ooh, you know what I'll do? I'll take a potion of slow falling and um, get us a better view and, and kind of float over here. Yeah, so, you know, I could I could have a, a double hole in the middle of each one. It would actually be a, a easier target to hit if you're flying and you wanted to try to hit some water. Um, you know, a double one in the middle. Although, And I could do fence gates also, which would make it so you could actually fly through it. Mm, that'd be a lot of fence gates. Boy, decisions, decisions. Um, when you have a build this big, and it is big. This is build height up here. Um, uh, when you make a small decision, uh, all of a sudden you have to multiply it by a gajillion because, um, yeah, it, it would take a lot of fence gates to stack up. But I'll, I'll, I'll say maybe see what that feels like for one, maybe one of the shorter towers or maybe just the tallest tower. I don't know. Decisions, decisions. But uh, yeah, I've been enjoying coming back and um, kind of trying to make a list of all the different retrofitting that I need to do. Um, but man, I do enjoy this slow fall. It's kind of a fun way of looking at things. I don't think there's a way of turning it. Well, I could, I guess, right click it off, but it would be fun to be able to somehow fall and then turn it back on, like a, have a parachute. They should have a parachute in Minecraft, don't you think? That would be really cool. All right. Well, um, I don't know how long all these videos are, but as, I, as I've said a, a bunch of times, try to keep these sort of short. Um, and, uh, yeah, I'll come back, and maybe next time I'll show you. Ooh, did you want to come play? Appreciate that. Come here, buddy. ka -choom! Good night. Wait, where'd he go? Where'd he go? Oh, yeah, I think I got him. Nice. <laughs> anyway, on that note, I will leave it here, and uh, have a wonderful day. It's... Um, Tuesday, voting day, big day for us. We have a couple of new things we're trying this week. Um, and uh, looking forward to that. Always good to have some new adventures, try new things. Um, especially if you're not feeling, you, know, you got to try the things you're not good at, right? If you just keep trying the things you're good at, then, you, then you're just good at that one thing. Um, yeah, like recording Minecraft videos. I don't know what I'm doing. But um, doesn't doesn't stop me from trying it. This was a little scale model of uh, of what you see here. I thought that was kind of cool. All right. Until next time. Thanks for your time, and I love you. Bye bye.